Gorgeous, I'm the Fairy Voice Mother and today I'm going to be reacting to Unleash the Archer's Awakening. Now, lots of you have asked me to listen to Unleash the Archer's. I have saved myself for this very moment. The description says, 10 years of Unleash the Archers. These heavy metal heroes are celebrating this honour with an exhilarating feast on Apex, their fourth masterpiece, four masterpieces. Bloody hell. The listener will partake in a furious adventure weaving through elements of the strongest metal genres of our time. You'll be guided by the shimmering heat of sweeping lead guitars, face melting solos, deafening growls, pummeling bass lines, and of course the thrilling hooks of Britney Slays is. Is it Slays or Slays is? When you have the apostrophe, I never know. <laughs> Heart rending choirs, deafening heavy metal ever more beckon you into battle. <laughs> Whoa! Channeling the fiery brilliance of shooting stars, there is immense beauty on Apex and it clutches you with a fervor that lingers well beyond the last symbol decay through swift melodies and a flair for the dramatic. Can't relate. Unleash the Archer's newest release compels you to chant with fists raised high in the air. All hail heavy metal. Are you pumped? Cause I'm f***ing pumped. This seems like it's gonna be quite the antithesis to the last reaction video that I posted on my channel, which was um, a lot of sadness. Now I feel like the sadness will become rage. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with a good amount of well-intended rage. Let's check it out. That's interesting. I can't think of many metal songs that open with like a synthesizer. It's very atmospheric and it, it, it's creating a very uh, threatening tone, which is, which is good. Sando note like she sang in the intro was glorious. <laughs> when she got to the top was just thin with like a harmonizer effect on it and a echo. It's probably a little something like this. We get the impression here that her voice is very heavy. Her vocal cords are staying very thick and her vibrato is very heavy and forward. So her posture here in this position is really contributing to the intensity of that vocal production. The vibrato she's using is super cool. It's very prevalent in uh, classic rock. We heard it a lot in the 70s. We are the champions, my friends. This 
style is like a heavy laryngeal vibrato and it's performed by exaggerating those laryngeal movements whereas like a natural vibrato would be a little bit more uh, stationary in the larynx like ah uh, these are just more extreme movements so this style of vibrato is extremely complimentary of this tone does that say i'm a bundy junkie as in ted bundy holy shit that's dark Goodness gracious, the balls! You don't wear that around your nan. I don't know his nan, she might be very open-minded, but... new chorusy style section they're definitely overdubbed like she's sung those very 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 high harmonies in separately because you can just tell they're tonally very different my actual nan's ringing me hang on hi nanny you all right that sounds nice that's true oh yeah oh yeah just before one i'll be over love you anyway where were we melody is not easy to sing at all. It jumps up in increments of two semitones at a time into the very top, which is one semitone. It's very difficult to ascend in pitch while keeping your chords engaged. Imagine your vocal cords are like an elastic band that I don't have. I don't have anything elastic in here at this time. I've got some knickers drying on the radiator, but that's a line we're not going to cross. Say these two invisible pieces of elastic are your vocal cords. Stretch, 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 stretch. To stretch them uninterrupted and keep them closed would be... Whoa! They can move nice and smoothly up because they don't have to stop so you get a little bit of momentum kind of thing with the with the muscles Another option would have been to separate them when the note got high And that would have been easier as well because the muscle that keeps the vocal cord strong the TA muscle could just switch off But what she's doing is keeping them strong and not only is she ascending in pitch, but she's stopping stabilizing stopping Stabilizing, stabilizing. Stella consolations rise. And the way that this is done is applying a conscious awareness of just thinning out the vocal cords enough so that they're able to stretch without separating or without pinging off. Like ah! So if this is something you would like to incorporate into your own singing, I would recommend doing what we call a primal sound, like wow. Yeah, a sound that isn't actually very singy and just see if you can get that little bit of stretch in your chords Train them to thin out just enough so that you can get the note without it separating and you might occasionally go Whoa by accident and then you'll try it again Wow, and then it will come out and you'll start to develop this strength once you've done that then you can play around with stopping and starting Whoa, But definitely whoa first What a tasteful blend that was. A lovely open space there to accommodate the flaps of the false folds. He's got a lovely big neck, doesn't he? And that very, very low rumble combined with her lovely, bright, shiny belt. I mean, what a treat. Bloody delightful. Love it. My past begins with an outdoor. A voice is calling my name. distortion creeping into her voice now which thrills me greatly you can see how it's a little bit more intense everywhere like even in her face you know there is more pressure and um 
God, she is just gorgeous. Sing to me. So we actually get to watch her this time do this ascension of notes and you can see how she really does physically pull them backwards. The chin goes in on the note where she really needs to make an adjustment to thin the chords out a little bit. Check it out. What that enabled her to do is retract the larynx slightly. So our larynx kind of moves like the pattern of a stem and leaf. So the flowers at the top, that's the lovely noggin. Oh, little leaf. So when we want it tilty forward, kind of like she wanted to do in the beginning, we kind of go on the leaf. And now when we want to retract and lift it, we go up the stem. So we're going up the stem. And in order to do that, we've brought the chin in so it the larynx isn't like trying to go this way, it's encouraged to go back and up. So you can actually try this and feel how the resonance moves when you change larynx position. You can put your hand here and go, oh, like a forward kind of position and feel, you should feel buzz here. And then if you lift it up and back, chin down and try, yeah, you should feel that the buzz goes. And then when you slide it back down, it comes back. Yeah! Buzz in the hand, buzz in the ears! Buzz in the hand. So she's a very good buzz directioner. and this bloke's jaw nearly swallowed me whole. He's like a snake. The fact that he can get such a big space here is doing wonders for the projection of this glorious example of a false fold growl. No! The neck is wide, the brow is stern, the folds are flapping and the mouth circumference. It's threatening. He's got it all going on, isn't he? Blimey, the growling, the amazing guitar playing. <laughs> My feet are doing like an involuntary double pedal action. I can't stop. is choosing to have the whole thing in this more backwards position set up to stretch easier so there isn't so much of a transition. Stella She might have decided on this chorus that it's actually better just to keep it controlled because it might be a little bit too intense on her voice to do that transition. And I think that's very smart. Many of us, if tasked with having to sing this song, especially all the way through and come back to that melody over and over again, would probably start to incorporate a little bit of neck tension here because it's just a very complicated technical process to isolate um, the intrinsic muscles to work on lifting the voice. And so after a while, we might start to get a little bit tired and, you know, slip off the ball a bit and try and use our neck to drag it up. Still a concert! That doesn't end well. We, we, uh, that doesn't end well. Neck tension is sponsored by Satan and it is hell bent on sabotaging your vocal performances, especially towards the end, especially if you've got to do a full show of intense songs. It kind of knocks on a singer's door and says, that vocal melody is really difficult to support, isn't it? I don't think your laryngeal muscles or your intercostal muscles or all of the other myriad of very strong muscles are strong enough. I'm going to support it by constricting all of the space in your pharynx and ruining your life. No neck tension, you're no good for me. What if you might find an extra lease of life? I'm not like the old neck tension. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> 
Of course you didn't. I'm neck tension. I'm never good. For example, can you see that movement? This would be a brilliant exercise for you just to do what she did there. Whoa! To get used to that mouth position. Amazing! It's much easier to do this manipulation when you haven't got to worry about pronouncing words. Because when we have to say the word stellar constellations, like obviously there's so much more in the way. We can manipulate vowels in words a lot more than people may think when we sing. But Nothing is like choosing your own vowel and not having any tongue or lip movements having to get in the way of this vocal process. Oh, that was bloody terrific. Oh, I'm in a fantastic mood. I can't believe they're not more famous. I mean, maybe they are, maybe I just live under a rock. The standard of the musicianship from every member of this band was absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Stellar, in fact, like the constellations. I mean, I don't play drums or um, guitar, so I don't really know much about technique for that instrument, but I do play bass, like, kind of badly. I give it a go. Like the bass technique um, was so smooth and you kept such a good rhythm with this. Da -da 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 -da. And she is just, I mean, her general stature alone gives me tingles. And then the weight of her voice and the control that she has and how resonant it is and how she moves the resonance. I'm in love. Perfectly crafted soundscapes. I love the attention to detail with the synthesizers and the effects and the backing vocals. It's not just sort of like a grungy garage kind of like, let's just whack a load of distortion and make everyone upset. It's a brilliantly crafted song. The melodies are catchy without sounding repetitive. The blend of his false fold rumbly growl with her brilliant shiny massive <laughs> belt notes was just so well thought out. The sonic experience of this was tremendous. So a real sincere thank you to everyone that suggested this to me because um, I feel enriched. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If there are any singers you would like to see me react to, please do let me know in the comments. At is, uh, as it is always my pleasure. I love you so much. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Mwah, bye. I hope you can eat most of this. <laughs> oh, mine! I was, um, what's that? I was giving her loads of chicken as well. Oh, cute! I know. What's she like?